Hi, so today I'm doing a review of The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. This was Toni Morrison's first book to be published and it was published in 1970. My edition is from the 1990s and it's from Plume and it has just under 200 pages. This book is centered around the main character Picola Breedlove who is an 11 year old black girl and it documents her troubles with her appearance mostly looking at how she longs to have blue eyes. Throughout the novel Picola is told and believes that she is ugly and this obviously negatively affects the way she looks at herself and the way she wants to be. She wants to be blue-eyed, blonde, like the little girls who get all the good attention and who are loved by everyone. It's very clear throughout this book that Piccola is treated very badly by everyone around her. She's abused. She's just overall has a very bad experience at this time in her life. I saw a lot of reviews on Goodreads that said it was incredibly graphic, that it was like porn, and I find that extremely exaggerated, and any of the graphic elements of this book I think add to the painful, painful subject matter, and I think that Toni Morrison very accurately picked and chose what elements to include in the story to make it that much more powerful and painful to read. I think it's important to issue a trigger warning about sexual assault in this novel. I found this reading experience was at times uncomfortable but in a good way. It was uncomfortable because it made me look at things through this little girl's eyes just to really see how society screwed up her own view of herself and I highly recommend this book for anybody who has not read that much African American literature, especially somebody who hasn't read anything by Toni Morrison because it's the first Toni Morrison I read and I loved it absolutely loved it. And I haven't read that many books by African American authors, so I think it's a good place to start. Of course, I'm really happy that I read this book and I think there are three key aspects that I found especially powerful. So the first is the way it looks at how we put white beauty on a pedestal, especially blonde, blue-eyed beauty, and how this is just incredibly harmful to everyone who doesn't fit this mold, especially to young girls like Piccola who are very different from this ideal and and internalize this inferiority because they are not fitting this ideal. I just found that this message was incredibly powerful, especially since it was told through the eyes of such a young girl. Second, I thought it was really great how this book dealt with race, especially with different shades of skin color. So there's a family in this book that is lighter skinned and they view themselves as superior to those who are darker skinned. This is something that I actually wasn't aware of until a couple years ago, but it's actually quite a widespread thing, racism within different ethnic groups. The third aspect of the book that I really loved was how it examined different abusers of Pecola, so different people that treated Pecola badly, and it really looked into their backgrounds and it gave them a lot of humanity, so you really felt sympathy for these people despite how they treated Pecola. You, it, Toni Morrison really humanized everybody that is in this book. And to me, that's a skill that not many writers have. A a lot of writers vilify certain characters, but Toni Morrison did not do that. And to me, that was indicative of her superior writing abilities, her ability to make her characters fully rounded and really believable. It's because this story is so believable that it's so painful to read and uncomfortable at times. Because of how great this book is and because of how important the subject matter is, I think it's a book that everyone should read and if you haven't read it, I really urge you to read it as soon as possible. It was a five star read for me, hands down. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you guys thought of The Bluest Eye. There are a lot of people on my Goodreads list that have read this, rated this five stars, rated this four stars or three stars, and I'm really interested in seeing what you guys thought. I tried to make this review as spoiler free as possible, but I would love if we could have a discussion in the comments, so let me know what you guys thought, and I'll see you guys soon.